All right, welcome back to the show. A little Friday night blitz for you on a Sunday night. We welcome in the head coach of the Gallatin Green Wave, Coach Chad Watson. They're 4-0, and they are rolling this season. Coach, thanks for coming on a Sunday. you got to be pleased where your football team is right now. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're really excited about what's going on at Gallatin right now. Our kids are working extremely hard, and this is something we've been investing in since February, and our kids and our community is excited about what's taking place on Friday nights right now. Uh, the Friday night game, you just had Mount Julie, you guys won seven to nothing afterwards. What a celebration. What an environment for your football team. What did you tell your team and coaches after that game? Uh, we tell our guys Monday through Thursday, we work, outwork everybody so we can have fun on Friday nights. And uh, I know some people may think we take a little over the top celebrating and stuff, but um, what's the point of playing the game if you can't have fun and enjoy winning? So that's what we want our kids to do. And that was a great environment. And the, the Green Wave fan base showed up Friday night to support you guys. It's been a couple of rough years at Gallatin. Now you're 4 and We talked about winning makes everybody smile. And what a great game Friday night beat Mount Julia. Oh, it really was. Uh, our community, it felt like a home game. Um, anytime we're on defense, the crowd was super loud. Yeah. And, uh, the support in the community, the support in the administration, uh, everything's first class at Gallatin. You started off the season beating Lebanon, which was a, a good team. They had a great year last year. Did you know during that game you might have something special because that was a good victory for your team that night? Yeah, we, we really started realizing we had something special with the Lebanon game, but also kind of leading up to it, we played a tough preseason schedule uh, this spring. We went and competed against a good Blackman team. Uh, and also in the fall we had CPA, uh, Oakland, and Cheveville. So we've played some really, really good competition leading up to Lebanon, and Lebanon just kind of reassured that we got a chance to be good. This Friday's homecoming at Gallatin, yes, and you had a message to alumni, the city of Gallatin, and that is? We want to pack the stadium, uh, both sides. We, we want to see filled with green and gold. Uh, they said it's been a while since both home and away sides have been filled up with the home crowd. And we want to see if we can make that happen Friday night. And for the kids to go out there and see that type of environment, see the crowd and see it packed in there, that's just beyond words, I think. Yeah, it is. And day one when I got here, I told their kids, like, you don't realize how fortunate you are and be thankful that you get to play for the green and gold and have Gallatin on the back of the jersey. So they're excited about it. Uh, they're asking for extra work that they can do. So they're, uh, they're just ready to work and compete. And, continue what we've been doing. Right now our main goal is continue to get better week in and week out. Um, it's been six years since we won a playoff game here at Gallatin. We wow. want to change that and it's been 13 years since we won a region title. So there's a lot of things we're striving for but right now we're worried about Hillwood and we're going to concentrate on that. One game at a time just like a good coach talks about. Coach thank you so much for all your right. time. Thank you. All right guys that's it. Friday night Gallatin. We want to see it packed. All right. Sir. That's your message on Friday night.